Hey there Mission Control, uh, it is starting to get cold, we got some weather headed our way right now, it's still pretty nice outside, uh, but it is dropping in temperature so I expect it will be snowing here in the next few days if not tonight. Uh, so what we're going to try to do today is we need to level the trailer, got some tools to help with that job so we're going to go grab those from the house and move them out to the site and get started there. So let's get to work. Alright so when I had this trailer delivered, unfortunately uh, it came at night, uh, it was just how it all worked out, not, definitely not the way you want to do things. Uh, and I had the site all marked out, but because it was dark uh, and it was snowing actually, ice on the ground, uh, which is all gone now, but um, the trailer is about two feet this way from where it needed to be. And because of that, it's actually sitting right on the edge of where one of the old uh, grow lanes used to be, where we had those big trenches. And with that, what's happened is the trailer has sank down probably about two inches right here at the wheelbase. So what we're going to do is we're going to jack this up and we're going to try to move it over. Now, I've tried to move it a little bit on my own before. Um, you know, I just grabbed the trailer like this and I lifted really hard and unfortunately I wasn't able to get it to go anywhere. <laughs> By my, my own, I, what I mean is, uh, before I was taking video, I, I hooked a chain on it, kind of playing around, seeing what I could do and it's uh, really super duper heavy, <laughs> obviously. And my little tractor doesn't really have enough oomph. So what, what I have is a, uh, a trailer jack, actually, uh, specifically designed to help with this type of situation. Uh, still got its wrapping on it, but this is a jack for this size of trailer. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of jack it up a little bit, and we might end up putting just some cribbing uh, underneath here uh, to get it all uh, fine. It hasn't settled anymore. Uh, it, it's kind of it's done its settling. Uh, it's been here for almost a month that it's been sitting here now, about four weeks. Uh, and it, hit, it has sank down as much as it's going to. So if I have to, I can just put it here. Uh, down there you can actually see uh, where I jacked up that side and actually had to put some of that flooring underneath. And you can still see the trailer actually angles this way a little bit. So the front is actually more in the grow lane than the rear wheels are. So what I want to do is try to jack this up and just kind of push it over, maybe just snail kind of pace, you know, just a little bit of crawling here and then get the end, the rear end done and then do the same thing on the front and just shift it over to where it's on that nice solid hard ground that's been compacted for a long time. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll use the jack to actually get it as level as we possibly can uh, on the ground. Now level is important on this system because we have flowing water inside of it. And if you have a significant shift in your level, then you can have one side of a tank be full and the other side be not as full. That's, that's not optimum. Uh, so uh, every time we put a trailer in place, we will need to level it first uh, as, as much as we can. And then we'll have leveling feet on the things that really require the level inside um, of the system so that you can level it there. So I'm going to get this unpacked. I'm going to get it set up. i got to learn how to use this thing. Uh, and uh, we'll see how far we can get today. Okay, well, it's been about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, taking a break. I just got the trailer scooched over the two feet. Uh, I didn't even feel comfortable putting that stuff on YouTube. <laughs> uh, with the world that we live in these days, I don't want anyone trying to do what I just did there. Uh, but long story short, I used uh, leverage. I jacked up one side of the trailer, put some blocks underneath the axles, and uh, got it up enough to where with my little tra my very little tractor, I could push it. Um, I got just enough friction or just enough weight off the wheels so that I could push the tractor, and then once the weight sat back down on the wheels, I was pretty much in the position I needed to be in. So it has moved back in, or it's moved into position now. It's off the soft dirt, on the hard dirt. And now we need to move on to leveling. So uh, this is where we're actually going to use the trailer jack to level each uh, corner of it, uh, get it up on some blocks if we need to, and uh, have the floor all dialed in. So let me show you what we got to do there. Got my handy dandy level here. It's been flirting snow out here. It is almost perfectly level right here, front to back. I think we need to raise it up just a little bit more. Alright, 
front to back, we're level. On the front, oh yeah, she needs to, that's how much this corner over here needs to come up. Oops, right there. So let's get the jack, see what we can do. I had to dig down a little bit here to fit the jack right underneath of it, but we got her in. I could have raised the whole trailer a lot more, but since we got it dialed in front to back, I didn't really want to mess with it that much. Just got a two by four underneath of it, or two by six, excuse me, and leveled everything out there. Or I used the hoe and leveled the ground underneath of it and reset the flooring. The flooring helps distribute the weight of the trailer more evenly. And then I got the two by six underneath of it, which should be enough once it settles back down. We shall see. I think I'm going to end up having to lift the other side and uh, do something over there as well. Hopefully not. Still. Oh man, that is. Like if it went down just went up just a hair that's all we need so I think we are we're gonna have to lift the other side and straighten it out a little bit and then reset it down and I think we'll probably be good enough you can definitely see why I got the tent out here uh, man it's blowing it's cold out there nose is running uh, Mrs. Martian brought me out some uh, lunch here <clears throat> Makes it nice to where I don't have to stop, you know. Go get changed. Lots of chicken. Protein, baby. Protein uh, helps rebuild all those muscles that I'm using, so I'm really glad to have that. Mm. All right, it's rude to eat in front of everyone. See you when I'm done with lunch. Chicken's good. Good protein. Just what the body needed. Well, temperature's definitely dropping outside, and it's been, uh, <clears throat> trying to snow a little bit uh, so I guess break time's over time to get back to work all right just got done with the other side oh man it's still still too high we got settling going on here because this is no fun like half an inch, not half an inch too high. Three tries the charm. Man, that is so freaking close. That side is still like half an inch higher. Half an inch. Ugh. Replace the uh, dimensional lumber with rough cut and now Now this side's a little too high. Nope. Nope. But you know what? It's gonna settle and it's in the bubble. I think I'd be chasing my tail if I go too much further than that. Oh, that's gonna translate though inside, especially up top. Ooh, look, the grease holds it there. 
<laughs> doesn't hold there very long though. Okay. Man, that is so freaking close. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave that there. I'm, I am inside the lines. Yep, we're gonna call this good enough. So, I'm gonna check the front back and uh, backside again, make sure we're level everywhere, and then I think we might be done. So you might be wondering, why is it that I'm trying to move this thing with my little tractor and why don't I just call someone and have them come up here and move this trailer? Uh, well, fact of the matter is I did call some people and uh, they're not available. Second, the site, the dirt at the site, not where the gravel is at, but the dirt at the site is so soft because we're going through freeze thaw cycles every day that even my little tractor just sinks into the mud. So even if someone was available, they couldn't make it up here right now until the ground freezes hard. Uh, when we had the trailer delivered, that was one of the things we were praying for is, oh Lord, please let the ground stay frozen. Um, because as soon as it gets wet here, that ground just turns into a soup and uh, that truck would have sank. So uh, again, when we got it delivered, the ground was frozen solid. Then it warmed up and now we're going through a thaw freeze thaw freeze every day and it just leads to mud so anyway that's the reason why we got to do it by hand couldn't even get someone up here even if they were available but i did try calling and uh nobody was available well there we go we got the trailer all leveled i did have to level the very back of it it tilted a little bit with all the stuff that was coming on up front here i guess so I got it all blocked up, trailer's level front to back on both sides. I checked it all the way along the edge, so I just didn't check one spot, checked multiple spots on the long side. And then checked the very back, checked the very front for left to right. We're set. So I'm gonna go drop this load off and we're gonna get started with the next uh, project here today, but that's it for this video. Thanks for following along, I hope you enjoyed it. We're ready to get going here and uh, start working on this thing, so. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Ring that little bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. In the meantime, everybody, this is The Real Martian. Out.